It begins with a hiss, colorless, invisible, and instantly terrifying. A chemical so reactive that scientists once described it as the substance that makes other chemicals look like toys. This is chlorine trifluoride, a compound so violent it doesn't wait for a reaction, it creates one. When it touches metal, it burns it. When it touches glass, it burns it. When it touches sand, asbestos, or concrete, it doesn't just ignite them, it makes them erupt in white-hot fury. There is no safe surface, no calm place for this molecule to rest. It oxidizes so aggressively that it rips electrons away from materials even when there's no oxygen to help. In the 1950s, scientists attempted to store it in tanks lined with steel and special alloys. The chemicals simply ate through them. At one facility, a spill burned through concrete flooring, through the soil beneath, and continued reacting until nothing was left to consume. No flames needed. Just raw chemical violence. And here's the twist. As horrifying as chlorine trifluoride is, it was once seriously considered as a rocket propellant because its power is unmatched. It can ignite fuels that refuse to burn. Its energy output dwarfs most oxidizers ever created, but its danger outweighed its promise, and the world locked it away as a chemical better studied than used. So what is the most dangerous chemical known to science? It's not the one that explodes the loudest. It's the one that explodes reality on contact, reacting with everything it meets, answering curiosity with catastrophe. A reminder that sometimes the universe hides its greatest power in the quietest, most invisible form.